Okay, there's a light right there. I'm trying to crop it out of the frame so it's not super bright. So I just received my Jackson's art haul and um, we're going to take a look at what I bought. I've bought a whole bunch of things from Jackson's this year and it's February 2nd. I took a little peek so I taped it up but we'll go to the overhead shot um, and I'll show you what I bought and I'll show you some other things that I bought this year that I actually unboxed myself and I didn't film but I'll share those with you. Hey everyone, okay, so we're downstairs and we've got the top down view so I can show you the art supplies I bought. This is um, an order I got a couple weeks ago and this one came today. So let's take a look at today and then I'll show you the ones I bought that I haven't shared yet. Oh, this, oh, I'm excited about this. I bought some Schminke, Schminke uh, watercolor and this is just one. I just bought one. I seen this in a video from Sarah Burns. Uh, her channel is called Sarah Burns Art. And if you haven't checked her out, you should because her drawings and paintings are amazing. I've really been enjoying her channel lately. And she had this color in her palette and I thought it looked so lovely. So I wanted to pick one up. This is Shire Blue. So it's super granulating as it says on the label. And I don't normally use a lot of granulating watercolors but I'm sort of starting to lean towards them so I'm really looking forward to putting this in my palette and seeing how it looks. Super super excited about this to try this out. Maybe we'll swatch it at the end of the video. I also picked up this watercolor pad by Fluid um, and I believe, let me see, they're Speedball. Uh, that's the company that makes these. Made in the USA by Speedball Art Products from North Carolina. I have another Speedball uh, fluid pad and I like that this is more of a watercolor block. I like the shapes that they come in. The other one I have a square and this one is 4 by 6 It has 15 sheets and it's 300 GSM, 140 pound paper. And so I'm going to paint 15 uh, paintings and I want to put these as uh, my goal is to put them as originals in my Etsy shop. Uh, this year I really want to focus on making more art that I can sell and put in my shop right now. In my shop I have a lot of stickers of my art and I want to add some prints. I have uh, some digital wallpapers coming soon, um, like phone wallpapers and that sort of thing. And I would like to do some prints as well as originals. That's what I want to focus on and I want to update the stickers that I do have in my shop. So. Etsy is a big focus for me this year, so I'm excited to get into this. Now we have one more little box and there's lots of little goodies in here. So we have a few things. First of all, I ordered just a standard pencil sharpener with a large and a small hole. I do have some watercolor pencils. Uh, one of them I think is from Karen Dash and it's a little bit larger than a standard size. So that will be for that. And then. I have um, my pencil that I'm drawing with and doing my daily sketches is really to the very end of its life and with the sharpener that I have I can't fit it in there's too much bulk at the end of the sharpener to the opening so this is going to get me nice and tight against that blade and I won't have too much overhang and I should be able to fit that pencil in for a few more sharpens and so that was the the main goal of getting this. Just a simple basic pencil sharpener. I also picked up a watercolor travel brush. I have been wanting these travel brushes or just anything really. These are a Skoda but um, anything for years and I've never been able to find them in local art stores. I've been to the west coast. I've been here at home. Everywhere I've traveled I've looked and I, just nobody really sells them. They'll sell like the water ones with the water, the squeezy water ones, you know, like <laughs> they'll sell those ones but they never sell like the the real good ones so this is a size 4 which it's kind of small but you will see why oh I forgot some art supplies upstairs I'll go get them you will see why I wanted this size in a minute I did try to buy uh, an 8 but they were sold out this is a 4 moving the peanuts aside I did buy some more neo colors and if you've watched any of my art videos, any of my like paint with me videos or whatever, you know I use these in every painting. Nearly every painting. I love these so much. And I like to add them at the end of my art. They just add something 
a different level of stuff. They just, they punch up the colors in the watercolor. I love these. They're so nice to work with. So I didn't realize this box holds 10 and I ordered nine. So a little packing peanut in there for the one I didn't buy that I should have. If I had known, I would have bought more, but I probably don't need an excuse to buy more. Uh, so just picking up colors that I don't have that normally I buy bright colors. Uh, but here I've got burnt sienna. This one's pretty. This one's called olive. Ooh, bronze. I didn't know I bought that. Oh, I do have a gold too, and I really like the gold, but I, I'm kind of shocked that I bought a bronze. I'm not big on metallics, but that, yeah, we'll try it out. This is ruby red. And this one is Chinese green. It's got kind of a greenish yellow. It, well, it looks like yellow, but it's got a greenish undertone. That's nice. This one is olive brown, very nice. Light fast orange, I love how bright this is. Indigo blue and dark green. So those are really nice. I've got, um, so that's what I ordered in this order, but I'm gonna show you what I ordered that I didn't share with you a couple weeks ago. So let's take a look at the other order that I got. I'm gonna show you the sketchbooks I got first. Right now I'm using an Etcher sketchbook and I have been using that for the last year. I just finished it uh, this past week actually, so I'll have a sketchbook tour coming soon. Um, I do really love the Strathmore art journals, watercolor journals, but I haven't been able to buy any of those lately because they've been out of stock everywhere I look. I don't know what's going on with those, so I decided to try some different sketchbooks. This one again was recommended in Sarah Burns' video and so I'm trying to build a travel kit to go with me. I'm going to Mexico in about a week and a half and I would like to take some painting stuff with me but nothing too bulky or heavy. So she had recommended this book from Stillman and Burns. This is the beta series. I think this is like three and a half by five. It's uh, just a small, smaller size that's pocket size. I guess you could just throw it in a bag or something. Uh, and this is not uh, pure cotton, but I did do some sketches already and I've really enjoyed it. I kind of find that the it because the texture is different because The makeup of the paper is different. It actually behaves differently, but I like the way it came out I like the way that the paint laid down on the paper. I was really happy uh, with it. So for my first sketch I wanted to try something very urban sketchy more different than you know, normally I paint bright colored birds. Uh, this is from a picture I took when I was in um, Ireland earlier last, well, last year, I guess now, or New Year. Um, yeah, so I just love all the sheep and the farmland. It's so beautiful there. So I was really happy with the way this came out and use some colored pencils as well for accents. No neo colors are on this one. Uh, I did this uh, sketch, urban sketch kind of, a journal sketch I guess of my sister and it's terrible and I apologized when I sent it to her cuz I she does not look like this she kind of I don't know I can see her in it but I can see where I don't see her too uh, but I don't normally draw people and just having the practice was important I think and you got to start somewhere so my poor sister was my victim that day <laughs> uh, but yeah so I did this with uh, my Lamy pen is the ink outline more my traditional journal style and I really like the way that came out as well been working on uh, Burb Fest for 2023. This is one of the birds uh, and again I tried some different mediums here. I didn't do the ink pen but I did the Faber-Castell Pitt Artist Pen as a, a, a light outline in some areas and I really like the way that turned out too. I may take that as my lining pen on this trip. Oh and then one more sketch here. So my little nephew, he's like one barely, one in a bit, one in a few months, went on his very first big trip with his mom and dad and they went down south as well. And he ran to the mini fridge and cracked a beer immediately. So my sister put the beer in the sink. Obviously he was not allowed to have the beer, uh, but it was just a funny, cute memory. And she sent this little picture of the beer in the sink and was like, oh my gosh, he just cracked a beer. So that was pretty funny. And so I decided to document that and journal it. And again, this gives me a little practice for my trip. I, I love the format. I was worried that this would be too small, but it's actually, it's quite nice. So I'm excited to take this with me on my travels 
and I do have a few other things I'll share with you that I bought to travel with as well. This other book I bought in that order as well. Uh, this is actually a sticker that's available in my shop. There's a lot of lights right here, so it's hard to see, but it's a holographic Arctic turn. And so this is a Stillman and Burns sketchbook as well, Stillman and Burn from the Nova series. The thing I love about this, it's a mixed media, but it has three tones of color, well, three colors of toned paper. I have black, gray, and this tan color, which I'm used to using. I've never used gray though. And I thought this would be fun to use with colored pencils, maybe even gouache. I have some jelly gouache that I haven't really broken into very much. I'd like to uh, do some more with it. And I just love toned paper. I love bringing in white mediums on toned paper. Love it. So those are the two books I got. I haven't tried this one yet, but this little sketchbook is ah, it's awesome. I love it. So let's look at the other things that I got uh, from that art haul. Lots of little goodies in here. Let's see. Hopefully, yes, they're all they're all in here. So again, I'm probably talking a lot about Sarah Burns, but she had a video where she recommended a portable sketching um, setup and a recent video. It was really good and I was really inspired by what she had offered or suggested. And so this was one of the items I've known about this for a while. So this is the micro portable painter palette and there is a portable painter palette that's the original and it's quite bigger. It has uh, two water vessels that come out and clamp on the edges as legs and you can set it on your knee or when you're painting and it stands up like a little table of palettes, uh, which is really awesome. I do want to take something portable, but that's too big for me. I need something super small and this is light, completely plastic. And I think it'll be nice just to toss in my bag and it unfolds or unpacks really nicely. And so you get this here and these little edges, if I'm doing this correctly. So the lid clamps on as an extra work surf and this becomes a water bucket if you'd like, or you could use it as a mixing tray, I guess too. And then it has six wells and a little mixing area here with the domed, with the domed lid makes these little wells as well. And on this side too, which is awesome. Mixing space is so primary and there's never enough. Uh, these come out and there's little plastic or little sticky tabs in the bottom. Now they have another version of this like inserts that you can buy to replace these wells that are quarter, I guess, quarter wells because these are half pans. So they'd be quarter pans, uh, pans, not wells. And so I have ordered those. I ordered them from the website and the shipping is taking a long time to come across the border, but it's, it should be here soon. It should be here this week. I think it's already... Uh, in the city closest to where I live. So hopefully it comes tomorrow and I'm going to set up um, a palette that should give me double the amount of space uh, for traveling. Yeah, so it just snaps back together. Super nice, light. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so I bought some colored pencils or as we say, pencil crayons from where I'm from. No one else seems to understand that term though. <laughs> colored pencils, we'll call them that. Uh, I've just been upping my collection of the luminance ones I got. Let's see. Ultramarine pink, primrose, which I used on a bird the other night, and I've used quite a bit of that. Ultramarine violet. I love how creamy these are and how nice they lay down. And I've just been, I have a lot of um, polychromos, but I just love these. These are just so creamy and smooth and they're just, mm, I don't know, there's something about these, I love them. So I've been maximizing my collection. Every time I order from Jackson's pretty much, I order a few more colors. I also got um, another portable brush. This was actually my first one because um, this was this order was before the one I showed you first. And so I ordered a size 10 in this brush, which Honestly, I think it's too big for what I need it to do. So again, this is Escoda. It is the Ultimo collection. Jackson's recently had a sale on and they had the Prado collection. They had the three pack and it was like around, can't remember, 50 or $60 Canadian. And it was a great deal. I wanted to get it, but uh, they were sold out. So I've picked up a couple of these, but I think just for 
the sketchbook that I have, like this one, I tried using this brush with this size sketchbook, and this brush just holds a lot of water, it holds a lot of pigment, and it's hard to control. So I do have that other brush that I bought, uh, the other portable brush, so this I think will give me the opportunity to do more details or fine work. I feel like there's a size missing in here that I really need. Hope hopefully I can make do with this. I have um, I have one paintbrush that I use every time I paint at home and I'm so used to it that it's almost like when I do try to use these ones, or this one at least, I'm always reaching for it. I'm, I just, it's comfortable, I guess. Uh, this was the insert from the Portable Painter palette, uh, Micro, I guess. Let's see if it has these extras in here. It doesn't talk about that, so this must be an older packaging. I also ordered these extra wells from Jackson's Art. They had them on sale, and I was thinking that I could just put them in here, thinking that these were maybe full size, hoping that I could double up with these, but they're not. They're the same. They're pretty much the same, so I just have a bunch of wells. I or I keep calling them wells. <laughs> A pans that I don't really need. But yeah, so that is a look at all the things that I bought. I, let's test out this paint. I'm really excited to see what this looks like, this Shire uh, Blue, and yeah, let's take a quick look. So this tube cost me about $20. It was uh, $19 and some change, and let's see, this is the 15 mil size. And so I have some watercolor paper here. This is Canson XL. Oh, that's pretty. That's pretty. This is very earth tone, which is quite different than normally what I would paint with. Check out the granulation. It has a really nice blue undertone. Like when you lift it, even right there where I lifted it, you can see as it thins out, it looks more blue. Oh, there's quite a bit of like a yellow green. Oh, that's nice. That is really, really pretty. I love greens. I think it is, it's not my favorite color, but of all the paints, I always gravitate towards green the most. Uh, in here, you can see, let me see if I can get a little bit closer on this to point out some of the characteristics. This is quite unique. So in here, there's like a lot of yellow green, and then there's a lot of yellow green in here. And then of course in here, like the primary when it's most in its saturated form, it seems really bluish, but like almost like a blue evergreen, which is really nice. And then as it thins out, you really see that blue come back from looking pr more like a green where it looks more like a blue down here. This is quite nice. And I love the granulation, I love that. What do you think of this color? Is this one you would add to your palette or do you use it? And if so, what do you like to use it for? So I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, this quick look at my art haul. Maybe it's not too quick because I've rambled a lot, but I'm super excited. And let me know what ones you enjoyed the best and in the comments below, and I'll link everything in the description. And I'll put a link to my Etsy shop as well if you'd like to check out some of my stickers and, and items there. If you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you're notified the next time I post a video to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.